Hello, this is Chris Duncan at Find Your Focus Photographic Education and a Master on the Acanum. And today I'm just going to make a quick little tutorial on how I get images to Instagram to share. Um, it's such a great, social media is such a great tool to reach new clients and to really kind of put your portfolio out there. And obviously Instagram used to be just square. Now we can do horizontals and verticals, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to go and do a square format. So here is my original image. Uh, I took it into texture effects, um, Topaz texture effects, and did a little bit of work on it there. And one thing I'll do is I will crop it to make sure it's a square. I've already done that. If your original image is not square, before you crop it, I recommend you do a right click and create virtual copy. And then you can crop that one. That way you have one for Instagram and social media and one that's uncropped. Or you can crop it and then uh, undo that crop after you export it. So there's not a quick exporter from Lightroom to Instagram like there is Facebook or some of the other social media things. But I like to use Instagram a lot. So what I've done is I've created a preset. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to right click on this and hit export, which you can't see it. And then just export and it'll take you to my preset window here. You can see all my user presets on the side. It has several of them. I love the presets here. It makes it so easy. Um, typically I won't even come to this menu once that presets there I can just click on that from that drop down menu and it runs it for me and I don't have to make any other decisions but I kind of want to show you what I've done here so I'm going to click the Instagram and if we look here I have it go into a specific folder and that is to my Dropbox account so you can click the choose button and it gives you that and under Dropbox I have an Instagram folder and so everything goes to there. And then I also have the, the, the Dropbox app on my mobile phone. So then I can easily update it into Instagram from my phone. Okay, I rename it to Instagram. That's the, obviously, that's, the, that's my naming convention. And I can show you my naming convention. I like to do the date. And this is the date you took the photo, not the date you exported it. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> so this says um, 16. February 5th is when I photograph this this young man and I do the year first and that way they put in chronological order and I know the most recent one is and it's easy to find if I want to go back and revisit a picture do custom text which says CJ Duncan photography I like doing that a sequence number 001 the reason I do that is in case I export two or three at the same time I want them numbered and then I keep the file number that just keeps them unique but the main thing is having my date first that way they do list them in chronological order in that folder on Instagram. And it's real easy to do this. If you want, you can, to do the file name, you can click this insert button here and it'll put it up. So if I want to do copyright, I could click insert. And then it just adds the copyright to the bottom of it. I do not want that. But that's my naming convention. I named that Instagram. Size and JPEG, sRGB. Long edge, 1,024 pixels. That is what I've discovered is a great resolution for social media and to view on a phone um, or a mobile device. I do output for the screen just a standard amount of sharpening. And my watermark. Put a watermark on it and sometimes I don't do the watermark and sometimes I do. Mine is very simple. It says CJ Duncan Photography across the bottom. I was able to select my font and opacity I lowered here and I made and I just did I want it to fit as far as the size. Just make it fit. So if I do a horizontal, it fits. If I do a vertical, it fits. Or a square, it fits. And then I do make sure my vertical inset here is a little high. I don't want it getting cropped off by any of the screens. And I hit export. And obviously you know, I've already done this. We'll just, we will overwrite it. And so as it exports that file, it shows me where it is in my Instagram folder. And then I can go to my mobile phone go to this last one save it to my camera roll and then I can easily upload it to Instagram another thing I've done is let's see let's go to export so I have all these presets you'll see I also have so now I can just go Instagram I have an Instagram with the portraiture plugin that does a little skin softening if I want to do that I have Instagram with portraiture, no watermark if I don't want my watermark in it. I'm leaning more now to not doing my watermark. I'm not worried about people stealing it. People know it's me. It's on my Instagram feed. 
and then I have Instagram no watermark. So I have these four, uh, with watermarks, without, and then portraiture with and without a watermark. So it's so I'll go and Instagram this no watermark, and I'm going to do a unique name so it doesn't override it. And now I can decide if I like the one that has my watermark, or the, I'm sorry, the one that does have my watermark or the one that doesn't. And actually I like the one that doesn't on this just because I can see more of the image. So anyway, this is a quick way to get it social media. I know there's a few steps, but once you get those presets done, the workflow works very seamlessly and then you can you can post to Instagram for your mobile device really easily another time during the day or immediately when you do that. So Dropbox is a great free way to be able to do that. So anyway, this is Chris Duncan. Hello, this is Chris Duncan, part two with our Instagram upload. I just showed you in Lightroom how we export that into the Dropbox folder. So now on my mobile device, I go to Dropbox. Let me just, and I'll go to Files, and I will hit my Instagram. I guess I could hit the I over here, go to Instagram. And so with the, remember I named it by the date, so I go to the bottom, 16, that was 02. I can see that image right here. And I was going to do the one without the watermark. So I have it right there. I'm going to hit here, save image. And that sometimes will take a few minutes, depending on your network. And it will save it to your mobile phone. And it's exporting it now. And what this is going to do is it's going to put it on my camera roll. So there it goes. It's exporting it to my camera roll. So then I can easily go to Instagram and of course I will hit this and it's right there, the first image in my camera roll. Then I can go and you know how to post from Instagram, write what I want to say and do all that. So it's a quick and seamless process and since I did that 1024 pixels, um, you know that's a great one that I can upload to Facebook as well. If I want to do something to Facebook, it's real easy. It's going to be right there. It just fits well for Facebook and the other things too. So um, that's a good ratio and it's really nice um, for all social medias, mainly Instagram because you can't upload straight to Instagram from Lightroom as of now. So anyway, this is Chris Duncan at Find Your Focus Photographic Education. Thanks again for watching and happy creating.